Chapter 5, Rowan's Recovery Injured by the curse that seals the vault, Rowan needs time to recover. You must tend to your friend while continuing to unravel the mystery of the vaults. Hello. So, in this episode of Hogwarts Mystery, we are on year 2, chapter 5. I already did the study session, so to unlock everything else. I have been doing duels, keeping up with a fairy, trying to get that done so we can complete these side quests. And what else? Oh, and then just strengthening friendship bonds. Things that y'all really don't need to see because they're so dang repetitive. Y'all can probably see that in, like, I don't know, when you play the game or something. But, <clears throat> so for now, we're going to go ahead and let's do... Both of these are in potions. We'll go to the... Attend potions class. That's like the main storyline. I think that's where Rowan had wanted us to go. So let's see. How is Rowan doing? I could use some help with my homework. Oh my god. Freaking Slytherin. <clears throat> Did you hear that they found cursed ice in the astronomy tower? And then Professor Snape. I haven't had to see you this year as much as the last Griffin. Let's keep it that way. Probably not. Uh. <laughs> I haven't had to see much of you outside of class, Griffin. What have you been doing? Looking for a friend. Looking for vaults. Avoiding you. <laughs> Let's do that one. I've been trying to avoid you at all costs. Uh. <laughs> avoid me while you can, Griffin. When my plan comes to fruition, no one will be able to ignore my power. Is that why you're... <coughs> Excuse me. Is that why you're so mean to everyone? Because you feel ignored? Are you just desperate for attention, Marula? Is it because your parents are in Azkaban? <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you, Griffin. Like everything else in your life, your search for the cursed vaults is doomed. I'm working with someone to locate and break the cursed vaults before you. <laughs> the vaults and their power will be mine. What makes you think you'll open the vaults before me? Because unlike you, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you'll see. I've received information that will have dire consequences for you. We will discuss it at the end of class. That <laughs> sounds lovely. You're in for it now, Griffin. I wonder, will Professor Snape expel you or murder you? Sounds promising. There will be no foolish wand waving in this class. Hey, <laughs> put your wands away, guys. And we also entered the chocolate frog event or something. So another reward is a chance to get one. Not guaranteed, it's a chance. And all of a sudden she's in class. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's weird. Aren't you supposed to be like in the hospital wing? There are ingredients for today's lesson on the shelf over there. Let's go and have a look. Alright. Push aside. Work cap, wood lice, wormwood. You're doing a great job, Piper. Blah. It must be here somewhere. Ooh. Yeah! I've also been doing a lot of stu stu uh <laughs> I've also been doing a lot of study sessions to get our levels up for all of our attributes. Just so y'all know, you're welcome. <laughs> Some jars are back there, but it's too dark to read the labels. Cast Lumas to shine a light. Great idea, Rowan. Let's see. Uh, prepare to crush ingredients. For today's lesson, you will need to crush ingredients with a mortar and pestle. 
get to work. One, two, three, six. <laughs> I shouldn't take any extra, or Snape will let me have it. I love getting my hands dirty. This recipe seems quite easy. You just looked at the book. Oh, that was Professor Snape. You just looked at the book. <laughs> Am I supposed to be crushing these in a chunk or something? That's what I thought I read. Who knows? <laughs> Everything is ready. Now to crush these ingredients properly. Properly. Careful. Okay. Looks good. Oh, and in case I didn't notice, I changed how my person looks. So. I don't know if I'm happy with it. There's not very many options, though, so. Prepare ah. to add ingredients. Ah! <laughs> Place your ingredients in your cauldrons. No splashing. Hmm. I feel like I've drunk a forgetfulness potion. How do I prepare this again? Remember to sprinkle from a safe height. I'm just gonna go arrange them instead. I must keep everything in order. What a waste. I don't have one that's like two. Oh, 40? Yes, please. I need to put my ingredients in the cauldron. Timing is critical. Hmm. And careful. I wish it would have told us what that was. Did it tell us what we're making? Or was I just not paying attention to what I'm doing? I don't know. I think I took a forgetfulness potion. Okay. Prepare to stir. Ah! Why did the <laughs> Okay. Even a task so simple as stirring a cauldron requires perfect technique. I will observe your attempt. Oh, my headphones are kind of hurting my head. I know this ingredient. We grow it on the tree farm. Mm, the more I think, the more uses I can come up with for this potion. Bring cauldron to a boil, avoiding something or other. I need to stir my cauldron. I hope I'm doing this right. how weird my hands look. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Prepare to finish potion. <laughs> finish your potions quickly. I will not tolerate laziness. Our potions are slightly different shades. Do you think mine is off? Another flawless creation. This is a lot more difficult than growing trees. I'm ready to finish my potion. I nearly, I'm nearly finished. Time to add the final touches to my potion.
Not long ago, I visited your dormitory, Griffin. Why? I received information that you have been stealing supplies from my classroom. That's ridiculous. Why would I do that? Because you thought it would somehow help you with your foolish pursuit of the cursed vaults? Because like your brother, you insist on testing the boundaries of school roles and my patience? I have no desire to know what goes on in your warped, tiny mind. Explain why there were stolen potion ingredients in the drawer next to your bed. We're gonna blame Marula. Marula did it. Marula obviously put them there. She sabotaged me before and she'll do anything to get me expelled. How would Miss Snide even get into the Gryffindor common room? You are the only student foolish and disrespectful enough to enter another house's common room. I wouldn't put it past her to bribe or blackmail or trick someone into helping her. Is this true, Miss Snide? <laughs> of course not. I want to see Griffin expelled, but only because she's a disgrace and a danger to everyone at Hogwarts. Mm. I generally wish, I genuinely wish you weren't lying. <sighs> Excuse me? Your eyes dart back and forth ever so slightly when you aren't telling the truth, Miss Snide. You are an absolutely atrocious liar particularly for a Slytherin. You will stay after class every day for the remainder of this year to clean and organize my supplies as punishment for attempting to frame Griffin. Ah. Dismissed. And that's why it pays off to have your attributes high, because I wouldn't have been able to do that, and Lord knows what would have happened to us. <laughs> I'm starting to feel better, but the nurse says I still need to rest. I'll let you know when I can have another visit. Visitor. Same difference. And let's see. So now we need to do our strengthening solution. Let us begin. Let us begin. Search for salamander blood. Oh. Today you will learn the brew strengthening solution. The lesson starts. Hmm. We have to gather the ingredients for strengthening solution. Let's do it together. This will be pretty much exactly like what we just did. I can only imagine what potions remain to be invented. Where does Snape get the griffin claws from? Is there anything tucked back behind, back here? Nope, nope, nope. I think she said I already checked under there. <laughs> hmm. Some jars are back there, but I can't tell if it's Griffin Claw, cast Lumis to shine a light. So maybe this is what we were preparing for in the last video. We're doing the strengthening switch. <laughs> Prepare to crush Griffin Claw. Mm. You must crush the Griffin Claw with a mortar and pe pistol. Get to work. Shrivel fig, silverweed, sneezewort. I might need this. Oh dear, the label was worn off. Everything is ready. Now to crush the Griffin Claw. Whoa. That looks crazy. Prepare to add salamander ah. blood. Pour salamander blood slowly into your strengthening solution. Yeah, my gosh. 
My phone is always dying. I could pick up Hagrid if I drink this potion. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh no, where'd it go? What did step two say? Oh, we didn't need all five of them. Oh well. Just get some money. I need to put my salamander blood in the cauldron. I think we did it. Prepare to stir. Oh. oh. Now you must stir your strengthening solution forcefully. I expect your potions to be bubbling by now. I'll make you drink that potion, Griffin. The strengthening solution? Yeah, and then we'll kick your butt. I think your technique is impeccable, Piper. I need to stir vigorously. Yeah, 40. I need to stir my strengthening solution. It requires quite an arm workout. I thought we had crushed those. I wonder if they get those off dead griffins or... <laughs> Next, prepare to finish potion. <sighs> finish your strengthening solution quickly. Now is not the time to show weakness. Get it! We gotta get it! Your potion looks good. Good enough to throw in the bin. It's on the green. I've completed so many steps already. I don't want my potion to force its way out. 40. We got a lot of good points from this. I'm nearly finished. Time to add the final touches to my strengthening solution. Wipe that foolish smile off your face. Okay. And let's see, what is this? Oh. Give me my reward. Hmm, courage and knowledge are already pretty far up. Awesome. Oh. I don't, oh, these are the cards that I got whenever they started the event. I have Dumbledore. And his card, if you click on it, it says Headmaster of Hogwarts School and the Supreme Mugwump of the ICW. And then I have Cersei. And if you click on that one... Ancient Greek witch who found joy in transfiguring lost sailors into pigs. And I have Cliodna. Ingenious Irish druidess who first discovered the properties of moon dew. And lastly, Roderick Plumpton. Seeker for the 
touch shell tornadoes and the inventor of the Plumpton Pass. Nice. And yeah, those are the only ones I have. And let's see what else we can do. Meet with Hagrid. Relight the fire. Oh, this is a different task. Let's go. Oh, he looks so sad. How's it going, Hagrid? Ah. Oh, hey there, Piper. Is something wrong? You look like someone just stole your favorite magical creature. Ah. I, someone might as well have never seen a creature ache, act this way before. That's a shame. Is there anything I can do to help? No. I don't mean to trouble you, but I don't know what to do about it. Hagrid, you saved my life when we first met. I think I can make time to help a friend like you. Ah. All right. You can give it a try. It's got to be better than sitting around here wallowing like moaning myrtle. Let's see how I can help. Tell me all about what's going on. And that requires stars too. Let me let this fill up a little bit and I will be right back. So we'll go ahead and do our discussion with Hagrid. It's only an hour time. So it'll go by really fast. This creature is very different from most of her kind. I try not to think this is hopeless. There's got to be a way to something. You know, you're a really good listener. I've trained some dangerous creatures in me time, but this one is something else. I don't know where to start with her. Creature is very different, blah blah. Figure this out. Yay. It looks like we got a chocolate frog. So your hands are full trying to train a very different magical creature. That's a tough one. Huh? This beast is very rare. It's hard to know if I'm helping. What makes this creature so different? Oh. Hmm. How do I put it? Let me ask you something. Oh. Do you think vicious creatures are born with dangerous instincts? Or do you think that's something they learn? Hmm. I think that's something they learn. Humans pick up survival mechanisms from our environments. Why wouldn't magical creatures do that too? Ah! That's encouraging to hear. I'm confused. Are you hoping that a creature can learn bad behavior? No. Ah! <laughs> if only it was that simple. Even the ministry says you can't teach a fly and fire breathing. Ah! Oh, never mind me babbling. Let's talk about something else. You've been keeping up with Quidditch? I hear a huffle. Wait a minute. Is this about a dragon? Mm -hmm. Dragons? Who said anything about dragons? What other magical creatures are known to fly, breathe fire, and are considered untrainable by the Ministry? Uh. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Look, I can't help you if I don't know more about this, Hagrid. No. I don't want to bother you. You've been plenty helpful already. I guess that's okay. Uh. Now don't you try pointing those puppy dog eyes at me like that's gonna change my mind. So I do it again. <laughs> it's up to you. No. Okay, fine. I'll introduce you to her, but... Good, where is she? Where can, when can I see her? Uh. But she's a Chinese fireball. And they can be very unpredictable. Mm -hmm. We'll need to find some space away from the others. Uh. This ain't the type of thing that I want folks knowing about if you catch my drift. I was beginning to get that idea. So where where can you tell me more? Mm -hmm. Meet me outside on the reserve. I can explain everything there. Yay, so now we get to see a dragon. So exciting. 
unlock fireball. You'll need to befriend more creatures before you can... Oh, man. Okay. And now we are going to go and visit Rowan. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. There oh. she is. Piper, you came to visit my sick old bones. <laughs> I brought chocolate frogs, my star chart from astronomy class, and a book about Wendelin the Weird. Oh, she's one of my favorite witches from the Middle Ages. Thanks, Piper. How are you feeling? Eh, better, but not great. I think that cursed ice did something to me. I felt like the longer we were in that corridor, the more the cold drained my strength. Well, definitely dress warmly when we go back next time. Uh. Yeah, next time. Is something wrong? I think I'm just tired. Let's talk about what you can do differently when you return to the cursed vault. Yeah, great. We're gonna need full energy for that. Um, that's the only scorched bell. So while we're waiting for energy, let's go see. Oh, it didn't take me. What? How do I get out of here? Oh, I. Oh my gosh, they're like forcing me to complete this. I can't even leave. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I guess we'll start it. How do I zoom in? There. You don't look that bad. <laughs> Did someone conjure you flowers? And I need five. Is that the only one in here? Yeah. All right. Um, well, I'll come back in a little bit when I get more energy. Okay, we have some more energy. I don't feel so well. I hope I get better soon. Being here really puts the dangers of magic in perspective. I wonder when I'll next end up in the hospital wing. I am quite busy, Miss Griffin. Okay, we're almost there. We'll just give it a little bit more time to let the energy fill up again. And I will be back. Okay. We got some more energy. We'll talk to Rowan. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll catch you up on Homer. Do you want me to read to you? And then this will definitely get us all our stars. Okay. Eh. Aside from dressing warmly and learning Incendio, I'm not sure there's much else you can do to prepare for the Cursed Vault. I'll work on finding some warm clothes and learning that spell while you recover. You should be ready to head back to the Cursed Vault by the time I'm finished. Hmm. I'm not going back. What do you mean? I want to help you, but I'll never be strong enough to help you with the Cursed Vaults. I'm only holding you back. See, and then this is why it's good to make sure your friendship points are high because now we can use this one. <laughs> Rowan, you're the smartest person I know. I can't solve this mystery without you. Uh. I'll help you solve the mystery of the curse vaults. I'll just never go anywhere near one again. Especially since she almost died. 
I understand. Just get your rest, and I'll work out a way to get inside that cursed wall. Send an owl when Madame Pomfrey says you're strong enough to leave the hospital wing for good. It's time for flying class, but I'll keep doing what I can to prepare for another trip to the cursed vault. Awesome. Attention, flying class is beginning on the training grounds. Do not be late. Check on our attributes. Okay. Okay, next is flying class. But we'll need more energy, so I will come back. Okay, well now we're going to go to our flying class. Um. Let's see. By your broom. Class is about to begin. I guess we're almost late. The rumors about Ben just keep getting stranger. <laughs> they say your little friend Kana ended up in the hospital wing trying to find trying to help you find a cursed ball. Don't pretend that you care about my friends, Marilla. Oh, I don't care about you or your friends, but I do care about the cursed vaults. Though not as much as your brother. Why do you think he was so obsessed with the vaults? Treasure, knowledge, or the challenge? There are rumors that the vaults are filled with prophecies and artifacts. I assume he wanted it to learn their secrets. I know what happened to him. You know what happened to my brother? You have to tell me. <laughs> Later, Griffin. Class is about to begin. Welcome oh, to flying up. class. She probably doesn't know anything. use the Wi-Fi or the not the Wi-Fi it's time to practice summoning your broom step up hold out your right hand and say up have a moment she's supposed to be in the hospital what is she doing in class who was the first person who oh we already got a point and we want this. Ooh. Now, Miss Griffin, let's see you summon your broom. Up. A plus. Review basics. Hmm. Hmm. Take time to familiarize yourselves with your brooms. Falling from this height wouldn't be too painful, but it would be embarrassing. Why is it so hard? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Knowledge, I guess. I'm ready to fly away. Off I go. And here we go. Awesome. <laughs> broom care and maintenance. Hmm. A well-maintained broom is a fast broom to your broom care stations. I'm going to fly up to the top of a tall tree and read books all afternoon. I always apply polish with the grain. I should probably get some food. A nice coat of polish will make a big improvement. Brilliant.
socialize. Ugh. Well, well, if it isn't everyone's least favorite cursed student. What's your problem? Hey, Marilla, do you think there's a spell that would make you less annoying? Oh, like you could do any better. Whoa. Oh, they didn't give us food this time. Let's do courage. Ugh. I feel like she's gonna end up asking us a question. Yep, here she goes. Ha, huh, you think you're so smart, but I bet you don't know this. What are the color of Madame Hooch's eyes? This is an easy one, even for you. They're yellow. I knew that one. <laughs> And again, if there's ever questions on here that they ask like that and you don't know the answer while you're playing the game, you can just look them up on Google. All of them are on there. Hmm. The time has come to climb aboard your broom. Stay focused and uninjured. I heard the whole school might be in danger. Am I the best student at Hogwarts? Something, something, something. <laughs> Time to climb onto my broom without falling. I have to focus. Awesome. <laughs> Yay! Well done! Tell me what you know about my brother. Hmm. I will, as long as you do something for me. What do you want? It's unlikely given your ineptitude, but promise to tell me if you ever open a cursed vault. I promise or I won't promise. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> Fine. I'll tell you if I ever open a cursed vault. Now tell me what happened to my brother. I'll tell you everything I know as soon as you tell me what you find in the cursed vaults. <laughs> you better hurry, Griffin. From what I've heard, your brother won't survive much longer. Oh, that's one stop. We're going to find him and he's going to be dead. Rowan is free from the hospital wing. Meet Rowan. Can we unlock this? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Let's go. She's in the Great Hall. Oh, and this is the last part of the story for this chapter. Awesome. Neat Rowan. That's good. Are you feeling better, Rowan? Hmm. Much better. Though I do get a terrible chill every now and again. You still seem sort of down. I hope you don't think I'm upset about you not wanting to return to the cursed vault. I just wish I was stronger and hadn't been so eager to explore that icy corridor. I should never have put you in danger. I want to help you, but I feel like I'm useless. Let me see if I can help you feel better. Then we'll see how you can help me with the cursed vaults. Um, oh wait, no, this one is just... Oh my gosh, I don't have enough coins. <laughs> so let me figure out how to get some more coins and I'll be right back. Okay, we are ready now. Let's go eh. try and help her. I want to help you with the vaults, but I'm just not strong enough. I wish I was stronger.
Thanks, Piper. You're a good friend, but I'm still not sure I can help you. Let's just keep talking. You'll see that you don't give yourself enough credit. Sometimes I feel useless. Um, I do too sometimes. <laughs> Being useless is brilliant. You always make me feel better about myself, but I still don't think I can help with the vaults. I understand, Rowan. Let's talk about all the ways you can help. I want to help with the vaults. Your knowledge is a big help. And we passed. And we still have two turns left. That's good. Thanks, Piper. There are other ways I can help you with the vaults. And we increased our friendship levels. Oh, she's out of five now. Hers goes up really fast. Huh. Thanks for making me feel better, Piper. I might not be the strongest, but there are other ways I can help. I'll definitely need your help to work out a plan for getting into the cursed vault. I don't think I'm strong enough to get past the door myself. Lucky for you, I've spent countless hours alone in my room making multiple lists of the most powerful students at Hogwarts. Do you think there's someone who can help? Hmm. Ben is the obvious answer because he's powerful in charms. But he won't be filling up to something like this for a long time. Marula is powerful, but you obviously can't trust her. You'll have to ask someone you've never even met. Someone even more powerful than Ben and Marula. Maybe even more powerful than you. Ooh. <laughs> Bill Weasley. Never heard of him. You've never heard of Bill Weasley? He's one of the most popular boys in school. <laughs> He's one of the most powerful wizards in his year. He's sure to be a prefect and head boy, and everyone says he's one of the bravest students at Hogwarts. He does sound like the perfect person to help with a cursed ball. Hmm. The question is, how will you get a fourth year you don't know to help with a cursed ball? I'll talk to him. I'll send an owl. I'll bring a gift. That one's only a nine? That's crazy. I'll bring him something nice. Hopefully it will convince him to help me. He's usually practicing defensive spells on the training ground. <laughs> Good luck, Piper. If Bill Weasley becomes your friend, he'll sort of have to become my friend. You made the hardest task. And chapter Looking five at... is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll put chapter six in the next video and we will see you there. Bye.